what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So as you can see, I got a carbon air scoop. Now, I've been wanting to get the VIS or VIS racing full carbon hood with the vents and everything. Uh, but, you know, with the way my car is going and, uh, you know, the direction that I take, it's a little bit more simple. Ultimately, I would like to get the full hood uh, eventually. The whole thing is I want to get that hood painted and, you know, leaving the, the vents exposed, carbon and everything. Um, and, you know, it's just going to take so much time and money and obviously to do that. And I wasn't 100 percent sure which direction I wanted to go with, you know, the style and, you know, with the long wait and everything, plus winter coming up. I was like, you know what, let me revisit that in the in the spring. Uh, but in the meantime, let me at least do something. And I kind of wanted to get a feel for what carbon was like on the hood, if it, if it was going to be too much, if it was, you know, too over the top. Um, so I came across this. Uh, this is a Revel GT dry carbon hood scoop. Now it's not a full replacement. This just lays over the stock hood scoop, which I'm fine with because any of the ones that I saw that were the full replacements, uh, the fitment was terrible. The actual carbon weave was horrendous. Um, I'm not going to name any companies, but I've heard some pretty bad things about the actual full replacement ones. Now this one, like I said, it just it literally, you know, on the back here, I'll show you real quick. 3M tape. Over here, we got some primer that you just put on to help adhere to the actual, you know, where you're putting it. Uh, and that's it, you know, and it can, you can take it off if you want to, um, you know, it's not permanent or anything, but it's a really nice look. And honestly, I just took this out of the box um, and the weave and everything is absolutely perfect. There's no weird things going in the corner. This is where the weave gets a little bunched up and, and strange looking and usually where the issues lie. Uh, but honestly, this whole thing is super nice. This is probably one of the nicer carbon fiber pieces that I've, you know, that I have on the car. I just wanted to try this out. It wasn't crazy expensive. It, I think it was around 200, 230, which I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I guess it is kind of expensive for just, you know, an aesthetic piece. But like I said, I just wanted to try it out. I wanted to see what, it, you know, what carbon will look like on the hood instead of making the full commitment of, you know, getting a full carbon fiber hood. But like I said, you know, I eventually want to paint it. I It would be pretty much this, just with some vents and everything, just a little bit more aggressive. I wanted to give it a trial run, see if I even liked it. Uh, and this was kind of an impulse buy. It was something that I have been looking at for a while, but I just, I was like, ah, I'm going to get the whole hood, so not even worth it. I came to the conclusion that I'm just going to visit the whole, you know, the VIS hood or the Cybon hood in, in, the, uh, in the spring. You know, let me at least get this, try it out, see if I like it. If not, I can just, you know, take it off, sell it, do whatever. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the, the actual quality of this. I got this from MA Performance um, and, you know, got here in a couple of days. A lot of the Revel GT stuff is actually out of stock. I was trying, I'm actually trying to look for the fuse box cover um, in, you know, the same company, the Revel GT, but it's out of stock everywhere. And luckily, the first place I looked for this, uh, MA Performance, and they shipped it out and it came in about five days. So pretty happy about that. I thought this was going to be a back order. I thought they were going to say, yo, hey, it's not going to be here for another four months or something. But it showed up. Here it is. Again, the quality looks awesome. The weave looks really nice. Um, so obviously, the next question is fitment. How does it fit? I don't know yet, obviously, but I'm going to throw it on the car real quick just so we can get a, a glimpse of what the actual fitment is like before we actually put it, you know, set it down. Um, but it's a very simple install. You literally just take some IPA, wipe it down, make sure the surface is clean. Then we're going to use some um, primer, put it on here. Stick it on and we should be done. So it's a very simple install. You don't have to remove anything. Like I said, it just goes right on top of this, which is pretty nice. Um, so you don't have to really be concerned about the fitment or anything or anything popping up really. Um, and yeah, it should be pretty cool. So let's get this on the car. Let's see what it looks like first before I actually commit. Uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, so let's just lay it on the actual scoop and see how this thing fits. Okay, wow. So all in all, my, my main concern was that it was gonna be bumping up too much. Like, you know, you could, it was actually gonna, you were able to tell that there was a piece on top of this. But honestly, it's not, it's not bumping up at all. It fits nicely in the grooves. I'm actually pretty impressed, wow. Okay, so now let's take a look. Obviously it's not in, so but let's take a step back. So it is a little aggressive. Uh, I mean, you know, don't mind the gaps and everything here. It's not on yet, but um, it looks pretty cool. It definitely adds a nice touch to the front end. Very aggressive compared to, you know, what it was before, but I think it looks pretty cool. But I think it's really going to tie in with the rest of the carbon that I have on the grill, the mirrors and on the back and everything. 
Um, but again, it's not going to be too much where it's just overbearing, too much carbon. I was trying to find an OEM black scoop and throw that on, which, which could be an option as well still. Uh, but I figure I might as well just try the carbon out again just to see if I'm going to like the look at all on the hood. Uh, but so far, I think I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Definitely aggressive. Um, I'm not a really big fan of the oversized hood scoop ones that they sell. I think that's a little too much, a little too, I don't know, a little too tacky for my taste. Uh, but this one is just, you know, obviously an OEM hood scoop with, you know, it's just carbon. But overall, I'm really, I think it looks pretty cool. Now that I'm liking and digging the look, let's actually get it on the car. Let's do the whole process, you know, wipe it down and everything, get it, make sure it's all clean. Uh, and then we'll actually peel off all the little, you know, the red tape on the back and then we'll get it on the car. So you get a little pamphlet with the instructions. It basically says, use the cleaner first, then put the primer, peel off the tape just a little bit, and then you'll be able to place it on. So I'm gonna do that first on the actual hood scoop over here. Uh, so the first one I'm going to use is the cleaner that's supplied with the, uh, with the scoop. It's just a pad. It's pretty much just um, like an IPA. Uh, so pretty, pretty straightforward. Just wipe it down, make sure there's no dirt or anything around the area. And this basically just wipes um, any protection or anything that may be on here. It gets it off the car so it's ready to adhere to the, to the scoop. So mine was pretty clean. Uh, you just want to make sure you get in the cracks over here. Next up, we're going to use the primer pad. Uh, basically, we're just do the same exact thing. We're just going to wipe it on the actual hood or the scoop. So what this does, this is actually just um, creates a, a better bond of the hood scoop to the actual, you know, body of the piece that you're putting it on. So we're just going to wipe it on. You want to let this get a little tacky so it sticks really well. So I'm just going to put it around. Make sure you get every area. underneath okay so that's done now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna peel all the little pieces off I don't think you guys want to watch me do this because this is gonna take a little bit but all right so got the tape peeled in those areas basically I'm just going to slide it in position hold the red tape up top So basically, basically the tape area, you know, the the plat, the um, the red tape is holding it from sticking down in this one spot. So I'm just going to peel, peel as I press, or press as I peel. So relatively, it's it's you don't really need to finagle it really that much. It's pretty much goes right in the spot where it needs to go. So I'm going to use a microfiber instead of using my hands on it. But I'm just going to want to hold it there for a sec. All right, guys, so there we go. Fitment is really good. Really happy with it. Uh, there's no like bulges or anything anywhere. Everything fits perfectly around here. So if we come around to you know, the back doesn't bump up really that much at all. Um, honestly, it really looks like an OEM piece to be completely honest. Uh, fitment is pretty spot on. There was a little bit, little gap on this side, but I was managed to, I was able to kind of pop it down a little bit, uh, but looks really cool. Really nice. Uh, definitely like the carbon. It's, you know, it's going to take some time getting used to obviously. But uh, it's definitely a cool look. Definitely adds some aggression to the car. I think if I just did the black as well, that would have looked cool. Uh, but the carbon is just, you know, why not? <laughs> uh, you know, lapis and carbon is kind of a, a no-brainer. It always looks good. So 
Yeah, but that's it. That's it for this install. It's pretty simple. It's literally just sticking uh, a carbon piece on top of your OEM piece so you know it's going to fit well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I just chose to go with this one, see how it looks, see how I liked it. And so far, I'm absolutely loving it. I think it adds a really nice uh, aggression to the front end. It really accents the hood scoop, which is a really nice feature on the hood. It blends in when it's just the, you know, the paint match, the same color as the car. So something that kind of offsets it a little bit, I think is a really nice touch and gives it a really cool look on the front. So, but yeah, that is the Revel GT Dry Carbon hood scoop for the 2015 plus SWX or STI. Um, fitment is really good, really happy with it. Uh, the price is reasonable. Like I said, I pay, I think I paid 230 for it. So yes, it could be cheaper, but honestly for the quality of the carbon and how well it fit, uh, I think it's completely worth it. Uh, I picked it up from MA performance, but there's a lot of places that carry this. Uh, but you know, I will link it below if anybody is interested in picking one up. I don't know if they have any more because this may have been the last one, but, um, honestly really happy with it. Really happy that I decided to go with it, try it out. I think it's a really nice touch with the uh, carbon grill here um, and just all the extra little carbon around the car. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them below. In the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.